welcome to another video. I just wanted to do something different today for Vlogmas because this year has been such a write-off. None of us know exactly what to do. We're all trying to stay in and do the right thing. I am in tier three, so I'm pretty much locked down apart from the shops being open in town. So uh, yeah, I've not been going out much, so I thought I'd do something different for Vlogmas. So today I am going to show you how to make a Christine Gore. I've not made one of these for such a long time, but I saw somebody make one the other day and I thought, I'm going to make one for my channel, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me give you a bit of history about Christine Gauls. They were originally made in Germany in the 1700s and they got really popular over here um, in the 60s when I believe it was a vicar who made them popular by making them and raising money for the Children's Society. Um, so he done it for charity and ever since then they've been a thing at Christmas. Um, and you know people go and they sing carols while they make them and yeah they're just a whole nice thing so i'll tell you a bit about them and i'll tell you again why i'm making it as well what you see me make this in a bit um the orange represents the world the red tape which i've just used washi tape with merry christmas um this represents the love of the like god's love for the world and um jesus blood and then you've got your four corners of the world, all the four seasons. Um, and then your sweets are like God's gifts or God's goodness. And then the candle is representing Jesus, so the light of the world. Um, yeah, it's just a nice thing. And it's a really nice thing to do with your kids. Regardless of your sort of beliefs, I think people are quite diverse at the moment. They like to sort of indulge in other people's culture. But this is like a Christmas thing. And it's really popular here in the UK and I'm sure in other places as well. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how to make one. Right, so to make your Christine Gall, you're going to need an orange, a piece of tin foil, some mixed fruit, a candle, four cocktail sticks and some kind of red tape or ribbon. Or you could even just use a colouring pen or a felt tip or some paint. You can paint around the side of the orange, but I'll show you how to make it now. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our orange and please, if you're a child, please get an adult to do this. You need to get a knife, you cut along, and then you cut along this way. And that's where your candle's going to go in the top of there. Next, next we're going to get our red tape. I'm just using this like washi tape that I got. And then all you do is you tape it around the outside of your orange and that represents God's love for the world. So the orange represents the world, and God's love for the world is represented by a tape. And there you go there. Next, we get these which we put fruit on. I'm gonna show you how I do one. Um, so what you do is you get your cocktail stick, you don't have to use fruit you can use sweets actually people do use sweets I'm using um, fruit because I had some left over from making my cake and that's kind of the order of this year that if you haven't got the exact stuff because you can't get out then you can improvise so I've got four of these right so what we do with those is you have to stick them in this way so, this, so the sticks represent the four corners of the world and the four seasons so there's your four seasons and the four corners of the world and the sweets represent the goodness of God and gifts God's gifts so that's that and then you want to so I've got quite a bit here of my foil but you want like a little bit of foil and it kind of serves as to catch any um, candle wax I'm just using a birthday candle that I found here so that's that and then you want to push that into the orange and then just flatten that out around the outside. Mine's not gonna be perfect, obviously, but it doesn't need to be perfect, and that's the beauty of it. So that's that, and that's your Christingle. The candle represents the light of Christ. So, we will just go through that again. Your orange represents the world. Your red tape represents God's love for the world or the blood of Christ, so that he gave his only son. And then the candle represents the light of Christ. 
The sweets represent the four seasons, the four corners and the God's gifts and the goodness of God. And that's it. And then you can just light your Christingle, which I will do in a sec for you. Let's put that back there. There you go. See, it's not perfect, but it is a Christingle. I love these. These are, these are so cool. I've not made one in such a long time, but I thought I'd do one for Vlogmas just to show you how to do it. So, yeah, that's how you do a Christingle. Okay, so that was me making my Christine goal. Yeah, it, it was really fun to make it. I'm so glad I've got one. I'm going to light this tonight. Um, I hope you're all having some kind of good Vlogmas time or the run up to Christmas at the moment. I know it's difficult, but hang in there. And if you like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, show me the funnies, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.